Now let's look at the tail of the tape. Biggest is the six inch height advantage of Fury and the age advantage a dozen years younger than that of Cunningham. And Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. I expect a good, clean fight. Let's touch gloves. Touch them up. Yes. Yes. Foreign countries, he's fought Marco Huck in Germany, Christoph Ladarczyk in Poland. He's fought guys all over in their home territories. And now that he's trimmed down about 25 pounds in his last three fights. Because he's a very conditioned fighter. And Fury's condition improving so much there. He's talking to him there saying, listen, come on, come on, that ain't nothing, that ain't nothing. Fury's definitely a showman, but he's landed some good punches too in this first round, Kenny. And he landed some, so he's a much more active fighter. From the jabs of uh, Stephen Cunningham that he's landed to the body. Fury now taunting him. Good one's right there. Fury working on the jab early. He talked about how much better his jab is. Round one coming to an end. It's scheduled for 12. Tyson Fury shoving. Round two underway in that first round, according to CompuBox. Fury, oh! he's not down. He's not down. Cunningham has floored Fury. That's the punch right there. Steve Cunningham was looking to land that overhand right. Tyson Fury got too aggressive and got caught with a big shot. Steve Cunningham has got Tyson Fury in a lot of trouble here. Even more aggressive, coming right back with the right. Fury's in trouble, Can He's still wobbly here. Here in that strong right in this uh, second round. Beautiful overhand right. And again, coming back with combinations, but sliding in a left. If the, if the fight continues to take this form. But you see, Tyson's not doing anything special in there. He's just walking. And that's what it's going to come down to. Good right hand by Tyson. And Tyson Fury is cutting down this ring again on Cunningham. He gets out of the way on those, uh, those combinations. Round three coming to an end. And we just saw evidence of that. Especially one of the things that you were talking about yesterday. Again, nice shot there by Fury. Is it Cunningham, even with his world championships? No, he really is just winning fights because he's big. But as soon as you hit him back with something, he got a problem. Getting closer to a shot at the champ, Vladimir Klitschko. So far, a... And that's what Tyson needs to get back to. His that jab. jab. He was using the jab effective early. And unless Steve can do something to hurt him or shake him up again, I think it's going to be very difficult for Steve to keep the bigger man off him for the last six rounds. Tyson Cotton is separating him once again. And he gets his guard up quickly and is able to shield himself as Cunningham trying to slide in a jab. Championships not known as a knockout guy. That's the question we're going to find out when Dan... All right, Chris Cunningham trying to go back to work, and Tyson Fury is standing with him. Punches on the inside, and he's actually getting himself back in this round, back in this fight because Steve had been doing very well the last couple rounds. Back in the second round by Steve Cunningham, and Cunningham going to work again, and Fury is just reaching. Well, Cunningham's not giving him uh, any chance with that reach advantage, is he? He's going in on him mostly. You see, when Tyson frees those hands up, it's giving Steve problems. He's a physically big, strong guy. And Steve is discovering his jab here in this fight. You see, it's like Tyson's got it figured out now. He's going to cover up. He's going to get close. His debut against Steve Cunningham, the two-time cruiserweight champ, now in his third fight as a heavyweight. And you see the physical presence of Tyson. It's tough. It's very tough. And just to keep the bigger man off of him because Tyson's so physical, he's so big, he's a physical guy, and makes it tough. And here the referee's taking a point away from Tyson Fury. He's got to respect that and move. When he's moving, he's not able to set his feet and land the hard punches, and uh, it's taken away from his performance now, Kenny. He's, he's getting shaken up in there. And Tyson Fury realizes he's got a real fight in front of him now. Maybe this isn't the soft puncher he thought it was, and he just caught Steve Cunningham with a nice right hand there, and Steve's got to be careful. Tyson Fury, the tall man there in the white trunks with the green. Making his Steve use. is not used to being in there, banging it out with a guy who's 255 pounds. And that's he's, a nice right by Tyson Fury. He's doing good work here. He's laying on him there, and that's what they talked about when Fury. It's a battle amazing. of attrition. You've got a big guy against a little guy, and eventually, good right hand from Steve. But eventually, if the big man continues to do the right things, the little man will falter. Once again. Good body shot by Tyson. Once again, Fury getting in a nice shot there. Slip, 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 bang! When you got close, you're going to boss, boss. Don't bring it up. You better box. Use the jab when you're around. The bear club won't open up.
Tyson Fury regaining his confidence. Steve looks at the referee, but he's not getting any help. He's got to make sure he defends himself, and he's got to use his legs a little bit to get some space from Fury. And obviously, this is what everybody looked at when this fight started. He's still a six foot nine, 255 pound guy. Fury wasting no time. He doesn't want to be caught again by Cunningham. Nice right counter uppercut. Good nice body left. Shot. Right into the ribs. Cunningham. Dehydrating themselves and shrinking themselves down. They find they've got quite a bit of power when they make the transition to heavyweight. Fighters, some extra time to rest. Veteran move and very smart. We're in round six, scheduled for 12. You know, Tyson's got a lot of confidence here. And that was a nice way by Fury. And Fury switching to Southpaw just momentarily. He is actually he wears him out over a 12 round fight. He knows how to use his body frame. And you see Tyson's guard up nice and high. It's As Cunningham's corner said, size alone is a threat anytime. Unofficially, Cunningham in the lead, according to our expert here, Larry Hazard. His wife, Paris, here with him. They were high school sweethearts. Have two children now as round seven begins. And you multiply that, Kenny, over 12 rounds, and you got the a fight. European champion at the time, a very good fighter, and uh, Fury stayed southpaw the whole fight and defeated uh, Rogan. That was April a year ago. Let's check in on the corner of uh, Tyson Fury with Chris. Cunningham, though, with the knockdown in this fight. Nice little short left uppercut by Steve, but he's having troubles keeping the bigger man off of him. And that was the key. Would he be able to hold up against a quicker Steve Cunningham? Holding Steve down, getting him tired. Good body shot by Fury. I think Steve's a little hurt here, Kenny. That's a nice start. Steve's almost done here. Look at this. Oh, there's another coming in. He's down. Cunningham is knocked down by Fury. Fury got the right in, and Cunningham is floored. He's hurt bad. You see him using that forearm. I think Steve's done here, Kenny. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, they need to stop this fight. This fight is over. Tyson Fury in his U.S. debut is undefeated, knocking out Cunningham in the seventh. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 55 seconds of round number seven. Referee Eddie Cotton counts to ten. The winner by knockout victory, still undefeated. He is the heavyweight fighting pride of Manchester, Tyson Fury.